Creating a bibliography from Word using all its auto format options. Welcome to another lesson by YourTechVision.com uh, with hundreds of other lessons on how to do anything that you need. Today we're going to do bibliographies, works cited pages, and show you how to automatically use your reference list built into Word. I'm going to go ahead and start Word. I've got a hot key for that, so I'm just going to hit start key 3, which is my hot key. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just automatically insert text. Uh, we're just going to make up information here. So you can see how this is used. Control Home. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to my end of my sentence. And it said period, so my cursor is in front of the period. All these commands are are anybody can use them. They are not talking software driven. They are Microsoft driven. Microsoft already has thousands of commands automatically built in. So I'm going to go up to my menu and I'm going to hit Alt. I'm going to go to References, which is S. So Alt S to References. The first thing I need to do is check my style to make sure it says APA 6th edition. So I'm going to hit L to go to my style. Now if you cannot remember the hotkeys, all you have to do is go into your ribbon, tab through it, then listen to your talking software and it will tell you your hotkey command to get there, especially if you use it a lot. Learn the hotkeys. Okay, APA, and the nice thing is if you have your Braille display, it's going to say APA 6th edition. So I highly suggest always connecting a Braille display as you're working on a computer. That is what I want. I could up and down arrow to anything else, but that's what I want. So now I'm going to go ahead and insert a citation. Escape. I go ahead and escape out of my ribbon. I double check on my Braille display. I know I am placed right after document. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my citation right now. So once again, I'm going to go back to references, Alt and an S. My citation happens to be the hotkey C, so I'm going to hit C. I'm going to add a new source. And website is uh, very common, so we're going to use that as an example right now. But of course, you can up and down arrow. And as you change your source, your information or your edit boxes below change. So just know they're going to be different depending on what you've chosen as your source. So I'm going to go ahead and tab. Keeping the default author. I'm going to go ahead and use myself. And then I'm going to tab to name of web page. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and go to the web page so you can see how to get this information. I'm going to go ahead and hit my start key and go to my site, yourtechvision.com. And so it's told me, uh, TechVision Firefox, I'm, in, I'm using the browser Firefox. And now let's go ahead and search by headings. And it gives me all the information. Let's just use that overview of, of view of dual media, Braille and print, enter and open. So this is going to be the name of uh, the site that I'm using. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I just held down my control shift right arrow to select it. And now I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to Alt Tab. Back to my Word. And I'm going to paste that information in there. Now I'm going to tab to the next section. The name of the website is TechVision LLC. Now year, so Alt Tab back to your website. Continue to down arrow. Land, heading level two main menu, list of four items, visited link home, link lessons. 
And if it still pops you, if it pops you up to the top, just hit H for a uh, header or do a find command to quickly jump down where you were and you know you were at overview. Now down arrow and it tells me October 28th. So I'll tab back. Now you have the date. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put 2013 because this is the most recent on the page. Month, October. So the day was 28. Your year old, alt tab back. Do alt D to select your URL. Copy, alt tab back, and paste. And now enter. And it automatically inserts the name and the year where it needs to be. Now, after you do all your citations, you want to have a bibliography page. So, control N, and you're going to make a new page. Control Enter. And you're going to insert your bibliography right here. So you want to go to your references, Alt, and then S, and B for bibliography. And it basically asks you, how do you want to do it? Bibliography is the word for the top. MLA is typically done with works cited. But we want APA format, so hit Enter on that. Now, the difference is, most of the time, your teacher wants you to have this double space. There it is. It's a hanging indent. And you, what's nice about this is, as you add information, you can constantly update this. I'm going to hit my home. Now, insert F and listen to your color and your font. So it tells you it's still blue 4. Well, most want it black, so I'm selecting that. I'm going to go ahead and hit my Applications key. I'm going to go ahead and go to Font. So I'm going to do Alt-C. And I'm going to arrow to automatic, which is black. Menu, font color, font color, automatic button. Tab off twice and enter and bibliography changes to black. Now the next thing is I also heard that it was left aligned. I want to center that, so control E. Now if you need your paper double spaced. And you need to listen to it. Insert F. And you find out that it is single spaced. Select it. Control 2 changes it to double spacing. Or you can use your applications key. And you can format with your paragraph or Alt O P. Let's tab around to listen to all our options that we have on here. Hanging. Control T is also an instant hanging indent. And one more to line spacing. And you can down arrow to double. Enter and enter to close. And it is double spaced. So that is how you insert citations and your bibliography very quickly.